exciting today. Can I just say, I'm like, I, I got up this morning thinking, I can't wait. When we first met, and I'd, I'd worn your clothes for so long, and I then just launched, and then we had a proper chat, and it was that kind of, there were so many things that we had in common in terms of the ladies we're talking to. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Honestly, the way you've thought your makeup through, it's like, you think the same. It's amazing, it's such a beautiful quality, it's easy to use. It's like having a makeup artist without them being there. Now I have to do some homage to you because I remember when I first got your things and I ordered them and I just thought, finally, I can have things that are beautiful and the quality is so good. You know, it's that kind of perfect clothes for me. But I think me. that's what's so similar. Like, you've done all the hard work, you've thought about, and that's, I think in a world where there's so much clutter, when you're busy, someone's got to have done the thinking for you. And I think that's, for me, that's one of the synergies of the two brands and why I was kind of really excited when it launched. What I really like that we're doing together, it's the fact that there is a refined choice. Yes, you know, that you absolutely. look, there's a, this refined yeah. choice and there's the ability to do your basics and then be versatile. So you still have that individuality in how you dress yes. and how you put on your makeup, but there's a kind of really nice, easy set of rules yes. and suggestions. We talk about fashion for the real world and, and yours is makeup for the real world. Yours is stacks, ours is non-creasing fabrics. It, it, it isn't until you start using the stacks that you realise how much space they take up. They take yeah. up no space, yeah. but and it's like painting by numbers. When I see you, and we've had a few meetings, and Claire walks into the office, swathed, of course, head to toe in me and M, and I just think, oh, I want that now, I want to be that, and, I, and it's the, le let's talk about layering. Let's talk about layering, because you are a layering queen. You can do layering any size or shape, which is what we're going to show today. Just showing it doesn't matter size or shape, it's just being able to know your body and then know what to choose. But that's what you've done with your makeup. I couldn't believe how easy it was, but it's just that little tiny bit here, and it yeah. gives you cheekbones, and then this tiny bit of highlight here, and I think that's the same with Clothes. Well, People think that I'm taller than I am. I'm actually short. How tall are with you? With short legs, five foot six. Okay, yes, because I would have thought you're a five foot eight girl. No. Is that because, because of how you dress? Because I am obsessed with <laughs> leg elongation. If you took these trousers and you didn't have the vent at the bottom, yeah. they wouldn't go over my trainers and then they would ring, they would gather and make my legs look short. Oh, yes, and that extra so, bit of fabric takes it down. And we make sure that you can shorten them. So you can just take off the press stud ah, and okay. shorten them. But yes. a, sh a leg needs to go over the shoe. Yeah. But so yeah. many stop them there. Yeah. Look how yeah. short my leg looks. Yeah. But then what you've done on this one, which is a crop, so it's a different concept, yes. is the waist is high enough that yes. I don't, because sometimes when you get a crop and a really hipstery thing, your yeah. leg literally shrinks no. like that. But, so, but it's yeah. also comfortable. I love the fact that it's sort of more about this attitude than your age. It's about how Absolutely. you conduct yourself as a woman Absolutely. and that you want a little bit of something extra. Completely. Yeah. It's those little things that make you look effortless but yeah. on trend and young, and I think your makeup does exactly yeah. that. Like, I don't feel like I've got anything on, yet yeah, I feel brighter. It's that balance. You pick yeah. on something interesting there, because I think it's that balance in, and, and in makeup and clothing. So when you get too neat, it can age you. Yes. And when you get too hippie, it can age you. Yes. And it's that in between. So it's like, if you do too perfect a makeup, like the perfect lip liner with the perfect lip, yes. I think at a certain age, it ages you. You use colours that are really clever. So our yes. colour palettes and how we look at colour, I think, is very similar. Well, it's we all... got to flatter first. Yeah. Can I just preempt this with something? Okay, okay. In our match to me, we have you, you put in your skin, hair, and eye. Yeah. And depending on that combination, we give you a palette of what suits you. So, if I do your skin, hair, and eye, you really suit chariot, which otherwise could be called without the gold flex in it, khaki. I love khaki because yeah. it. It, it goes even with red. It go, it but it makes up. red special because red is tricky to wear if you don't wear white with it. There's certain things like when I'm styling too because I do a bit of fashion still and red, I hate putting black with colour. Yes. Okay. It's so too, it's to, too, put, to it, then have it khaki kills as the color. alternative, it, kills it doesn't kill it. So then yes. I suddenly thought it doesn't kill the colour. I love that. <laughs> I get that. It's an edgy colour. It's not it's a classic colour. And, and we couldn't sell khaki three years ago suddenly it's our fastest selling colour. Yeah. And then I come to have my makeup done and your makeup artist go, you'd suit khaki on your eyes. Because you're a khaki queen. Yeah. And I think it's like, 
What's interesting, and yeah. this is something that I have noticed over the years, let's take out male designers who kind of do the most incredible designs for women, but sometimes don't appreciate a woman has a thigh or a yes. shorter leg. They yeah, really yeah. don't. I mean, no. if I look at any incredible male designers, they don't appreciate those nuances. Yeah. And I think female designers design for their body shape. So when I look at you as a female designer, you've got to embody what you're designing. You have to love women. You have yes, you have to, to love women. This is where it's coming to, yes. You have to care passionately. The ambition of your brand and the ambition of my brand, I think, are to give women confidence. Now, what I really want to do is I've got three ladies yes. and they all work with us because we have, you know, Trini London Tribe. So we thought today that we would just get three of them, all different body shapes, yes. and, and put them in me and M. And we're also doing these new stacks, which are really entirely matched to you. But we want to say, if you want to do a smoky eye, what's the exact shade of, yeah. of blusher and what's the exact shade of lip that you should wear to balance it out? So this is like a out. complete clinic, isn't complete. it? How the intrinsic relationship between makeup and, and clothing. clothing and shape and yeah. colour. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's do it. Let's do it.